guys welcome back to my channel so I finally got my next uh, subscription for Felissimo it's almost like I jinxed it so I did a review not too long ago and I had said how you know they bill me on the same day and it always arrives in 10 days well this set did not so it was kind of flustering um so I got billed in February or I mean January, but I didn't end up getting a shipment for January. This arrived just two days ago in February. So I don't know if that means now I'm kind of like a month out, like they'll bill me for February and I won't see it till March, but that is something that I'm going to note. Cause like I said, every six months, I'm going to update my review as I get more into the subscription. So that is definitely something I'm going to note because they found that kind of strange um especially with my last shipments being over the holidays like big holidays christmas thanksgiving they still showed up exactly on time and there weren't any major holidays uh so i found that kind of odd but into the pencils so this month is tropical we have 261 to 280 and they say Scent of pineapple fills the balmy breeze as sunset melts the sand and the ocean. Colors beam across the horizon. This is the magic of paradise in motion. A bunch of pineapples. As always, it does come with its own swatch chart, but I've kind of told you guys how I'm not into using that. So I pre-prepped my own little chart here with the pencil names and uh, numbers. And they weren't in order. They they don't really come in order. So I'll end up putting them in order later. But I'll just end up pulling them out of the case and, you know, swatching them. And then I'll put them in order as I put them back later. But I did notice instantly when I opened this, like, look how bright these pencils are. So this is one thing I really dig about these subscriptions is they have a theme. And the pencil names match the theme always, which is great. And the colors, like the colors of the barrels and the colors themselves are always in line with it. Like my my winter one, they were all kind of dark, wintry colors. And this tropical one, you know, you think tropical, bright colors. And look, this is very bright. I mean, these colors are definitely tropical. Tons of pinks, oranges, blues, reds. So this will be a really fun one to color with. And after we swatch it, I'm thinking I'll have a lot better selection to color a page with just these. Whereas the others, uh, I didn't have as many blends. So I will get you guys down a little closer just so you can see the colors better. Um, and then we'll start swatching. Okay, so I don't have them in order. So we're going to see. This is Caribbean Coral. Which is, oh, the last one. All right. Oops, kind of an awkward angle on my mat here. Um, as always, I push hard and then I lift and lighten as we go. These ones almost seem creamier than the other ones, or maybe it's just because the last thing I swatched was chameleon color tones and they were pretty hard. <laughs> Could be that, but not bad. It's kind of a, a reddish pink. So now we are on to Starfish Sanctuary, which is right here. Okay, so Starfish. I hope you are all doing well. I am so sorry. I've been really bad about replying on social media. I haven't even posted on Instagram in a while. It's awful. I'm so sorry. <sighs> this house hunting is getting insane. We had to rush and get our house ready. They took pictures of it. So it's just kind of been chaos. <laughs> so I'll update you guys on my next Whip Wednesday. So I kind of want to focus on the pencils. So that's a pretty color. It's kind of like a reddish orange, but 
let's see, <clears throat> Beach Balm. How funny, so far everyone I pick is like, one after the other. Yeah, so I was kind of disappointed it took so long to get them this time. And so with February, naturally, you know, being a short month, I don't think this year is leap year. Even if it was, though, I'm kind of curious because normally they bill on the 12th of the month. And I get it by, um, you know, anywhere from the 22nd to 23rd. And like I said, this one didn't show up till February 5th or 6th, uh, something like that. So I basically didn't have a shipment for uh, January, but I got billed it for January. Uh, Ibiza Tide? Hope I said that right. Oh, it's right there. So yeah, that is definitely something I'm gonna note. Um, I'm gonna wait till I get a few more shipments before I do my update of the review. And then just every four to six months, that's my plan to keep updating because things change. I mean, this subscription is incredibly long. The color selections, I. I have yet to see all of them in person myself, so I have to update it. I can't just do one and call it done. Fire Dance. That said, even though I had to wait longer than normal, I'm trying not to smear those ones, um, I was still pretty impressed with the colors. I got excited because they were all similar enough to where I think I could do some really fun blends. And this might be a fun one to do in like Magical Jungle. Like pick one of those extra tropical-ish pages. <sighs> Go to town. Alright. Um, Water Lily Lake. Oh, there it is. So yeah, we'll see if my February shipment actually shows up in February. Or if I end up not getting it till... March, because that is something to note. That means, like, you could be billed one month but not actually get it until the next. But my first two were, like, clockwork, so I, I feel like I jinxed it because I mentioned it in my review. And, yeah, it just didn't work out that way. So, we'll see. I don't have a brush nearby. That's why I'm kind of blowing them off. <laughs> All right. Blue Hawaiian. One of my favorite drinks, um, especially the, the one where you can mix with Sprite and, uh, well, a splash of other things. That's a very pretty blue. It's tealish, but not too bad. But look, automatically I see it right there. Those would go gorgeous together. So yeah, I'm already loving this color. I think what I'll do is in my next one, when I do an updated review, I'll actually put like all my swatches next to each other so we can see the variety. Flamingo flaunt. Just so we can see like, you know, because this is, uh, where is flamingo flaunt? Could be loose. Oh, right there. Yeah, with 500 colors, I want to see how different all of them really are, or how close some end up getting. Bikini Sprite. Interesting name. So I do want to see if it's a really good variety, or if we're going to have, at the end of this, a lot of colors that are really close to one another, and just very slightly. I mean, I'm honestly impressed that they made 500 colors and 500 unique names. <laughs> But I'm really digging the themes. I, I really like it. The colors always match up perfectly with the theme. The names are fun and cute. 
sometimes you get those odd ones where you're like, okay. Uh, forever, ooh, Frangy Pammy? Not totally sure. Let's see. Now I know there's supposed to be some pastels and metallics as part of their specialty categories and neons. And I'm not sure if, like, you would get a whole set of just pastels and metallics or if they would be mixed in with other sets and themes. And it's kind of hard to tell from their website. They do tell you every single theme package and the color names in them, but you can't tell if it's, like, a metallic or not. My last set did have a lot of pastels, but I'm not sure if that those were, like, the official pastel colors or not. And, like, some of these are pretty bright, but I don't... I think I would call these neon. Uh, aqua Acai. Which right here. See, so yeah, I'm kind of curious if those neons and um, metallics and pastels will be in a very distinct set of their own. But so far, even with shipment three, my prices stay the same. Like I said in my review, price can fluctuate based on... My fixed price with the company will never change, but the currency conversion from yen to USD can. Afternoon ripple. And then shipping can vary. They do make it clear that that will not stay the same, and you have to kind of understand that. I mean, there's no way a company would lock themselves into a fixed shipping rate for two years because, I mean, just no way. Shipping always changes, and you never know, like, with COVID or whatever rules come about with shipping and customs, because these are coming from Japan. Yeah, there's no way any company could say, yeah, it'll be flat rate for two years. <sighs> That would just be a bad business plan. <laughs> All right, Reef Dive. Although I think I do want to use these in the Magical Jungle book. They're all very fun colors. Mint Mojito. This looks like a tealish color. I wonder how close it's going to be to the one right next to it. And I know sometimes on my camera it can be hard to tell too because camera doesn't always pick up. I was saving for a professional camera, but I'm going to wait till after we move um, just because it, it's really hard to shell out $800 on a really nice camera when you're like, I need new furniture for a new house. <laughs> so, back burner. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I mean, look at those all go gorgeous. Lots of purples in this one. I don't even know how to say this. Waimea Sundown? But yeah, the purple, pinks, and reds. And this set are really pretty. Is a pretty color. All right, this looks like the last red, heavenly hibiscus, and they're they're kind of in color order, sort of. I mean, you can see how they're grouping the blues, pinks, and purples and reds together. So that part is nice. I have noticed that a lot. Um, 
One set, though, wasn't totally in color order. It was a little off. But my second one was a lot better. Like, they seemed a lot closer in color order. These reds are awfully similar. Let's darken this up to make sure we get the full saturation of that color. So... This one is just, it's hard to tell on camera, but this is just a little bit pinkier. That's a little orangier, and this is almost like a true red. So if it's not showing that on camera, that's why. Um, sunscreen Smooth. See, these are all like beachy, tropical, kind of like Hawaii. Remind me of Hawaii. Not that I've ever been, but some of the things... Oh, I'd give anything to go to Hawaii right now, that's for sure. We finally started getting all our snow. <laughs> I jinxed it. I should have just not questioned why we weren't getting any. Pineapple Breeze. Oops, let me color it this way. It's a very pretty color, too. I'm liking that. <sighs> yeah, that works. Okay. Golden Hour. Yeah, hour. Yeah, I had to double check that it wasn't hair. <laughs> Not a lot of coffee today, guys. Kind of a pastelish orange. So these can be a little scratchy on their first layer, but when you layer back over them, they're they're very smooth. They don't scratch on top of the the wax layers. So you don't get any scratches there. I'm liking that color too. Got all those. And I know we'll talk about the colors after actually because I got one more. Flip flop. Another pink. Oops. I'm trying not to shake my camera thing. I might need to tighten it. Um, I've noticed it kind of wobbles when I. Especially when I color back and forth like this, but I really shouldn't be because I'm not shaking my desk. Well, maybe I am and I just don't notice. <laughs> I'm not pressing that hard. Let's see. Get a little more saturation over here. Okay, let's talk colors. So, these oranges are definitely different. I know these yellows look pretty close, but not quite. And I'm trying to show it on camera, but it's not showing. So this is definitely a darker yellow. Um, this is more of a true yellow, whereas this kind of has like more golden-y undertone. And then this one is really close to this one, but it still differs slightly. So the blues are all good. I mean, you can totally see the differences in those. Um, purples here, you can totally see the difference as well, just how they vary. And then same with these pinks. These two I know look similar, but they're, they're not. They are pretty darn close, but you can tell the slight difference. And then, like I said, with these reds, they do look awfully similar, but this is orangier, this is a true red, this is a pink red. But these colors are really not bad at all. And like I said, I could totally see like a magical jungle picture or something with these colors. I love how many pinks and purples and blues are in just this single one. So it'll be fun to play with, but 
yeah, thank you guys for watching me swatch. Again, I will go over these when I do my updated review. We're only on box three. My review covered box one and two. Maybe I'll wait till I get box six to update um, or a little further out. It'll depend on how much info I gather between now and then too, you know. Like I said, I had the the change in shipping time, so that is something to note, and I would want to see if it kept happening, and then kind of go from there. But thank you guys for watching me swatch my latest batch of Felicimos, and until next time, take care.